we had some feedback from our last video and people would like to see some recipes. So today we're gonna do a cacao, maca and cacao powerful recipe. We thought we'd start off simple so that you guys can try it at home and enjoy some delicious powerballs at the same time. Just before we, st oh. just before we start, I just want to say that I actually haven't eaten too many powerballs. We're having a chia baby that's halfway to being cooked now. So, um, which means it will actually be due in March when we open the new chia. So with our cacao and maca power balls, we're going to be using one cup of almonds, four large medjool dates, a teaspoon of cinnamon, because we want to make them kind of festive as well. And we're going to be using a tablespoon of raw cacao. And we're just going to be adding um, about half a teaspoon of maca. You want to also be using organic ingredients where you can, where possible, um, just to make it even healthier for you. You want to mix it till it goes to a quite a fine consistency. You can do it a bit chunkier if you like, it just depends how you prefer um, your power balls, but these will be easier to roll. Make sure that you take the pips out of your dates. Now you can add your tablespoon of cacao, your teaspoon of cinnamon, and your half a teaspoon of maca powder. Maca is a Peruvian root vegetable and it's really good to, for giving us vitamin B6, lots of calcium and iron, so great to add to power balls. Okay, so if you've mixed it and you've basically made a massive power ball, that's good because the consistency will be just about right to be making, to moulding your power ball. Um, so now you just take a small amount, you can kind of make your power balls as big or as small as you want them to be. Don't be scared to get messy, they will make your hands sticky. Um, but the perfect size we kind of say is if you put your fingers like this, that's kind of a good snack size for you. Um, piece of baking sheet is good so that they don't stick to the plate. Um, and if you're like me and you have a busy life, work, children, then you can make these in far bigger batches, obviously just um, double or triple the recipe and you can make these and you can actually freeze them. Literally takes less than 10 minutes to make. So it's something that's really good to kind of get the kids involved with. The kids normally love these, especially if they contain cacao because obviously they're chocolatey. Um, this recipe makes around eight power balls, eight to 10 power balls, um, depending on how big or small you make them. Um, if you haven't already been into chia and tried some of our power balls, then do. We always come up with different flavours, new innovative flavours to give you ideas of what to try at home. And here they are, your maca cacao power balls. Like I said, you can double, triple the recipe if you want more than this. This is enough, I reckon, for our family for one day, once everyone's had one or two. Have fun making them.